Drop handlebars allow for multiple hand positions and different postures. You can upgrade to save weight, increase comfort and style, and really make a noticeable change to your ride. Join us as we walk through drop bar removal and installation. When selecting a new bar, it is important that the bar diameter and the stem clamp diameter are the same. Bicycle handlebars come in various sizes. Here are the most common sizes for drop bars. To determine bar size, measure right where the stem will clamp using a metric caliper. Be sure to be accurate as some clamp diameters are within fractions of a millimeter of each other and are not cross compatible. It is difficult to determine the clamp diameter of a stem by measuring it. The clamp diameter is typically engraved or labeled on the stem, but sometimes is not. Contact the stem manufacturer for more information. For more information on stems, see the Stems and Handlebars playlist. There are other dimensions to consider such as width, drop, and reach. These dimensions will vary depending on fit and personal preference. Typical tools for this procedure include a ruler and angle gauge or other method of measuring lever position, a knife or scissors for removing tape, appropriately sized wrenches, torque wrench or torque driver with appropriate bits, grease or thread locker for the stem bolts, and assembly compound for carbon bars. Before removing anything, take note of the position of your controls. It can help to take pictures for later reference. The first step is to remove the bar tape. Pop the lever hoods forward and remove the bar and plugs. Then unwrap the tape. Repeat the process on the other side. Cut and remove any other tape you may find holding the housing in place. If you have carbon bars, take care not to accidentally cut into them. Next, we will remove the levers. But first, you must locate the mounting bolt. On many models, it's right here under the hood. These are some other common locations. A final spot to check is in the middle of the lever body. Squeeze the lever and reach in with a hex wrench. Loosen the mounting bolt and remove the lever. Now, loosen the stem bolts to remove the bar. If you have a removable faceplate, remove the faceplate. Stems on many older bikes use a compression slot system. Loosen the compression slot bolt at least two full turns and slide out the bar. You may experience difficulty getting the bars out of the stem. If so, there are a few methods to open up the compression slot. Remove the compression slot bolt. Insert a tire lever, pry bar, or similar tool into the compression slot and use it as a lever, expanding the compression slot. Be very careful to not apply too much force. You can damage or destroy the stem if this is done too forcefully. Or thread the bolt in backwards and insert a penny or similar coin into the compression slot. The bolt will seat itself against the coin and push open the compression slot. This may not be possible with all stem designs. Begin by applying grease or thread locker to the faceplate bolt threads. If you are installing a carbon bar, it is wise to apply an assembly compound such as ParkTool SAC2 where the bar meets the stem. This will help create the needed friction between the bar and the stem to resist rotation. It will also act as a barrier between the bar and stem materials. Install the new handlebar into the stem, but don't fully tighten it yet. For stems with removable faceplates, make sure the gaps are equal on the top and the bottom. This reduces stress on the bolt heads. For compression slotted stems, apply grease to the bolt and install it. 
but do not tighten it fully. Slide on the levers, but do not fully tighten them. At this point, set the bike on the ground and make sure the bar is centered in the stem. Then adjust the bar roll and lever position. Consult the picture you took earlier if so desired. Make sure the lever positioning is identical on both sides. Use a long straight object like a broom handle as a reference. Snug the faceplate and levers in place. Stand over the bike and get a feel for the new setup. Fine tune the lever position, rotation, and bar roll as necessary. Next, tighten and torque the faceplate bolts to the appropriate specifications. It is advised to tighten incrementally in a cross pattern to distribute the pressure equally. For stems with a compression slot, simply snug and torque the bolt. Tighten the levers to the appropriate spec, typically 6 to 8 newton meters. Before wrapping the handlebars, it's a good idea to secure the housing to the bars with strapping tape or something similar. As you do this, be aware of any channels molded into the bars. Laying the housing in these channels will reduce any unnecessary bulkiness on the bars. Finally, you'll need to rewrap the handlebars. This is a detail-oriented and often tricky procedure. You can find our guide to bar wrapping in this other video. Thanks for watching. You can find hundreds more videos like this one on our channel here on YouTube. And we're constantly working on more. So be sure to subscribe for the latest content from Park Tool. And check out our website, which has even more content to help you make your bike better.